Okay, so it's uh, November the 24th. We're into the second day of the world record attempt. There's not much wind now. We're waiting for the, the big wind to come. But we have Vesta Sarok set up behind us here and we're concentrating on all the little details. The boat now is getting everything stripped off it that is not necessary. We're putting fairings on absolutely everything. Just to give you a look at some of the details on, on this boat that we've been focusing on. We have this lovely uh, beam fairing here to fair in the join from the beam to the main hull to make it as aerodynamic as possible. Makes the whole boat a lot smoother. As over here as well, we've got the fairing on the uh, Combotech strut here, which uh, reduces the drag of this by a factor of eight to 10. That should give us over a knot of, of boat speed. Back in here is a very important part of the boat. This is the Trimble GPS timing system. In here is a very expensive little box of, uh, of gadgetry which gives a split second to a thousandth of a second and it gives a accuracy down to millimetres. That is the way that this boat is timed. The importance of that is it means we can take the best 500 metres out of a kilometre long run instead of just going between two fixed points. Sometimes you're going faster before the start line of two fixed points or afterwards whereas this you just pick out the fastest bit and use it. That, that's a real bonus. The best bit, the coolest bit, which was just delivered by uh, Frank Stein, this is the helmet. Oh, let me get the cord out. The, uh, Frank has uh, designed up for me. We build a carbon cone on the back of it. You probably notice that it's, it's off to one side. That's because the wind is coming off to one side, not straight ahead like on a motorbike or a push bike. We have the wind coming at 26 degrees. So that aerodynamics is angled for that 26 degree angle there. We have uh, Vesta's logo on there. We have the Southern Cross, being Australian and seeing that we're doing this down in Namibia under the Southern Cross. We have the skyline of my hometown where I first started to play with little boats up in Hillsville. That's the Yarra Valley done along there. And we also have, well, for those of you who are uh, right into aeroplanes and the uh, you might recognize that uh, number there. That was the number of the first Spitfire, the first prototype Spitfire, K5054. This is a prototype boat. It's got an elliptical planform wing, much like a Spitfire, and the boat was built within a stone's throw of, uh, in Wollstone of where they built the, uh, the, super, the old Supermarine factory where the first Spitfire was spat out from. So, super cool. We've taken the wind instruments off the back uh, because they were good for collecting data but they're not helping us go fast so that's gone. We've got the little windscreen here to break the wind up over my body and we're just stripping anything on this boat that's not necessary is taken off. The We weighed the boat, she weighs 205.3 kilograms. She's in fighting form now so this is pretty much exactly how she's going to look when she's going down the course. We're hoping there's going to be wind tomorrow then we've got 25 days left. We only need one or two big days and uh, we're gonna make all this effort worthwhile. So, it's an absolute pleasure to be standing here in front of this boat now. When we first started this project so long ago, uh, we would try and envisage what our boat looked like. Well, here it is, complete in fighting form, ready to go. The world record commissioner is in town. The timing gear is here. We've got this amazing location this amazing boat and we're hoping when we mix all this stuff in a big pot 50 knots uh, will be the uh, the flavor at the end of it but it's uh, I'm very proud of what we've all achieved with this boat here she's looking fantastic